What's up, guys? Try back again with some good, good news. Um, this was brought to my attention just yesterday, um, but uh, it was this is actually a couple months old, but I just didn't know, and maybe some of you just don't know. So, um, wanted to let you guys know, season three of The Walking Dead has been officially ordered. AMC have already gone ahead and ordered another season. Uh, the ball, you know, has already been, you know, is already rolling on the third season. So. You know, we're guaranteed that we're going to get a third season of The Walking Dead at this point. Uh, it looks like, um, you know, the early season premiere and the first few episodes of season two has convinced, uh, or have, have convinced AMC that they're going to go ahead and order another season. So that's absolutely amazing news. Uh, I'm just stoked to hear that. Uh, season two so far, at this time of this video, we're five episodes in season two. And man, has it been great. Uh, better than the first season. I think so. I think so. I think you can easily say that season two, even so far, even with five episodes, has been better than the entire first season. Um, you know, going on forward from here, I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, I think that the ending of the second or second season will be really, really good. Uh, no question about it. Um, definitely excited to hear this news. Let me know what you guys think. Season three of The Walking Dead has been officially ordered and it's gonna happen no question about it now let's talk about a few little things that I'd like to see for season three um, I would like to see a bigger budget for season three because if you guys don't know in the first season they had a decent budget for six episodes in the second season they cut the budget back a little bit so they gave them less money to do 13 episodes so they had less money to do 13 episodes than they did to do six episodes in the first season which is like that's crazy you know that's ridiculous why would you have less money to do more uh, more than twice as much um, and have less money so you know that's just really to me it's like oh my god I hope that AMC really realizes what they have here and they make sure that they put in the money that they have to put in to make this happen the thing with The Walking Dead is that the AMC actually owns the show the network owns the show that doesn't happen very much a lot of other shows like on AMC like Breaking Bad and most networks are not actually owned by the network itself. A lot of times they're owned by a third party like Sony or you know another company out there that, that owns the show and then they kind of like sell it to the network. Uh, no, this is AMC's. AMC actually owns The Walking Dead uh, for the TV show. So I want to see them put more into it. You know, I want to see for a season three, I want to see more zombies. Now I know in season two, the, the premiere, there was a ton of freaking zombies. Uh, and then throughout the episodes, we've had a few zombies in each episode. It hasn't been too bad, you know, like uh, we just saw the barn scene and there's a whole bunch of zombies in there, so that's cool. I like to see that. Um, and this kind of might be a little bit of an extreme request, but I, I'd like to see even more, you know, even more zombies. I'd like to see a couple herds come through, you know. I'd like to see a field full of freaking zombies. I'd like, you know, how cool would that be just to see that in an episode, a season premiere, season finale, who knows? Um, but just, you know, more overall zombies. Um, you know, in addition to that, I think I'd like to see some other, I'd like to see their group meet another group out there again. Um, you know, like a big group and, you know, have some crazy stuff go down. Maybe use some of the newer characters that have been added to the show that weren't in the comic book and have, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, battle between the two groups. Something going on. I think that, uh, you know, showing that side of humans, we got to see a little bit in episode three. And of course, we may see some of this later on in season two that hasn't been aired yet, at this time anyway. Um, I would like to see some more groups um, and some more of the whole effect that living in this kind of world has on the psyche of our characters and of other people out there. You know, I'd like to see someone who was a grade school teacher end up becoming, you know, after all this shit's happened, you know, just crazy, like a murder or something. I like, you know, I like to see that kind of stuff. Like, you know, just all of that psychological, um, you know, change in people that, that will happen in this kind of a, in these kinds of circumstances. Um, so, you know, I, I really would like to see that in the, uh, the third season. Uh, also, I want to see the prison. I want to see them get to the prison. If, if we don't get to the prison by the end of season two, which it looks like we probably won't, but there's no way to tell for sure, I want to see the prison. Uh, Wilshire Estates, I'd like to see that too, either at the end of this season or in, in the third season. And um, what else? Uh, oh, uh, I'd like to see Shane live through the third season. Some of you guys may disagree with me on that one. I'd like to see Shane live through the third season, but I'd like to see him leave the group for a little bit. Maybe leave the group and then come back. Uh, so, you know, 
leave and then maybe come back and find them again. Start his own group, maybe. That'd be interesting. You know, have Shane go off and start his own group in the third season and every so often in the episodes cut over to Shane's group. So you have Rick and the rest of the characters that we know of and their group and everything that's going on with them. But once in a while, you know, have a part of an episode, maybe like, I don't know, like five or ten minutes of the episode or maybe a little bit more of what's going on with Shane's group. So kind of split it up in that way so it's kind of... Uh, you know, not just centered around Rick's group and then have maybe characters come in and out between between what's going on with the groups and maybe have, you know, at the end of the season, have it go down and eventually kill Shane or, you know, something like that. Um, so that that's definitely something that I would like to see too. I want to see uh, Daryl survive through the, through the, at least halfway through the third season, definitely through the second season. I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see some of the characters that are in the comic book that survive a long time in the comic book, not survive in the show, um, in the third season. So, for example, you know, you have like characters like Glenn. Well, maybe Glenn should survive, but maybe take somebody like Dale. Take somebody like Dale and have Dale, uh, you know, have something happen to him in, in, at the end of the second or in the third season. So change it up. Make it surprising for us to the point where it's like, you know, it's clear that this isn't the same as the comic book. You see, in season one, I used to want it to be the same thing. I wanted The Walking Dead TV show to be faithful and, and exactly like the comic book. But now that they've started to stray away from it and do things differently, I really feel like that's more interesting to me. I want to see different things happen. You know, I don't want to see it go down the same path as the comic book exactly. They can go to the same places, but I don't want the same things to happen. And I don't want, like, for example, Otis dying in, you know, season two, episode three. Stuff like that. Whereas in the comic book, Otis lived a long time. So I don't want to. I don't want to see season three. You know, stick too close to the comic books. I want it to be as different and as unique, but still good and still interesting as possible. Um, I think that the episode season three, uh, or sorry, um, season two, episode three, the one where Shane kills Otis, um, things like that. The episode where he where he does that. Um, I like to see more. You know, focus on the characters themselves and changes with them and, and and likewise with Rick too I'd like to see him change quite a bit in the third season and if you guys read the comic book you'll know later on after the prison uh, there's some interesting scenes where they encounter some cool groups um, one group in the comic book they are a, what's the word um, they they they've kind of they're kind of on like a highway and they're kind of like I don't I don't want to call them rednecks but they're they're really messed up guys they're like a, they're like um, triplets type thing and uh, they're all you know identical and they jump Rick and um, Abraham on the on the highway and they try to you know do some things to them and basically Rick at this point there's there's hardly anything left of him like he used to be like this you know nice and uh, soft guy. At, at this point, they go to do something to Carl, and Rick basically, you know, gets bear hugged by one of them. At this point, he's missing. Uh, ooh, big time spoilers before I say this. Turn off the video now if you, if you haven't read the comic book. Big time spoilers. He's missing his right hand because he gets cut off by the governor. So, you know, he's fighting that guy on the uh, on the highway, and he, you know, he gets bear hugged by the guy, and then the guy says like, "What you gonna do now?" And then Rick bites him on the neck. You know what I mean? <laughs> like totally just bites the shit out of him. Um, that kind of stuff is really, really interesting to see because when you look at the way his character was at the beginning of the series, you know, this nice, soft, kind-hearted, you know, gentleman, basically, and the type of person that he becomes, and I think this trade paperback is called uh, What We Become, um, where he does that. And, you know, and even the guy he's with, Abraham, who's or Abraham, who's done things himself, is like, holy shit, you know, <laughs> like, can't believe that, that Rick just, just freaking bit this guy. Anyway, so I'm going on a rant here, but I want to see that kind of stuff in the third season. I want to see, you know, um, characters that were level-headed before just do crazy shit to have to survive or to defend other members of the group. Anyway, I think that's it for now, guys. I could ramble on for a lot longer about other stuff, but uh, definitely season three, super stoked, super excited. We're going to keep right on going. Uh, the Walking Dead videos aren't going to stop. I'm going to be doing reviews of every single episode. Uh, you know, I'm not going to miss any from now on. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. This is Trev saying later. Peace.